What does the Bible say about Noah's Ark? What does the Bible say about Noah's Ark? Noah's Ark is a vessel found in the book of Genesis, which tells the story of a great flood sent by God to wipe out all life on earth, with only Noah, his family, and a few animals surviving the devastation. According to the Bible, God commanded Noah to build a great ark and fill it with two of each kind of animal so they could be saved from the flood. The Bible describes Noah's Ark as a large vessel made from gopher wood and measuring 300 cubits long, 50 cubits wide, and 30 cubits high. After the flood, the ark landed on Mount Ararat where it remained for some time until the waters receded. Although the story of Noah's Ark is widely known, the Bible provides much more detail about the Ark and its impact on the world. Throughout the Bible, God's covenant with Noah is seen as a sign of his mercy and grace, and a reminder of his promise to never again destroy the world by flood. What does the Bible say about Noah's Ark? The Bible is filled with many amazing stories, and none are more captivating than the story of Noah's Ark. In this blog post, we'll take a closer look at the biblical account of the Ark and explore what it says about the building of it the animals on board, the purpose of the Ark and its symbolic significance. We'll also look at how the story of Noah's Ark ties in with the broader themes of the Bible and how it has shaped our understanding of God's covenant with us. All about Noah The story of Noah's Ark begins with Noah himself. Noah is one of the most important figures in the Bible and the central character in the story of the Great Flood. He is described as a righteous and blameless man who followed God's commands and obeyed all of his instructions. When did Noah build the Ark according to the Bible? The Bible tells us that Noah built the ark shortly after God instructed him to do so. In Genesis 6:14, we read that God commanded Noah to build the ark in order to save himself and his family from the impending flood. This was approximately 600 years before the birth of Jesus Christ. Where did Noah find the materials to build the ark? The Bible does not say where Noah obtained the materials for the ark. However, it does tell us that God provided the instructions for how the ark should be built and that Noah followed those instructions. In other words, it is likely that Noah used materials that were already available in his vicinity. Here is a list of items probably needed. Gopher wood. Gopher wood was the type of wood used for the ark, according to Genesis 6:14. It is not known what type of wood this is, though many believe it to be cypress or cedar. The ark was 300 cubits long, 50 cubits wide, and 30 cubits high, Genesis 6:15. Pitch. The pitch used to cover the ark inside and out was described as a mineral pitch. Genesis 6:14. This tar-like substance was used to waterproof the ark and provide protection from the elements. Pitch forks. Pitch forks were used to spread the pitch over the outside of the ark. Genesis 6:14 states that the ark was covered inside and out with pitch. Timbers. Timbers were used to construct the ark. They were likely large pieces of wood, such as logs or beams. Hammer. A hammer was used to assemble the pieces of the ark. This tool was necessary for the construction of the ark. Axe. An axe was used to shape and trim the timbers used in the construction of the ark. Chisel. A chisel was used to shape and trim the timbers used in the construction of the ark. Saw. A saw was used to cut the timbers for the ark. Nails. Nails were used to join the timbers together. Rope. Rope was used to tie the timbers together and secure them. Glue. Glue was used to seal the seams between the timbers and make the ark watertight. Pitch ladders. Pitch ladders were used to climb up to the higher decks of the ark. Windows. Windows were installed in the ark to provide ventilation and light. Genesis 6:16 states that windows were made in the ark. Doors. Doors were installed in the ark to provide access to the decks. Genesis 6:16 states that the ark had a door. Ramps. Ramps were installed in the ark to allow animals to enter and exit. Provisions. Provisions were necessary for Noah and his family and the animals on board the ark. These provisions likely included food, water, and other supplies. Why did God instruct Noah to build the ark? The Bible tells us that God instructed Noah to build the ark because he wanted to save Noah and his family from the flood that he was about to bring upon the earth. The flood was a punishment for the wickedness of mankind, and God wanted to give Noah and his family a chance to survive and be a witness to his power. How long was Noah on the ark according to the Bible? The Bible tells us that Noah and his family were on the ark for a total of 371 days. This time was spent in preparation for the flood, during the flood itself, and after the flood had receded. God announces the flood, Genesis 6 17 description. God announces his intention to send a flood to cleanse the earth of wickedness. Noah is instructed to build an ark, Genesis 6 14 16 description. God instructs Noah to build an ark out of gopher wood, with three decks and a roof. He also commands Noah to bring two of every kind of animal on board the ark. The flood begins, Genesis 7 11, 12 description. The floods begin and the waters rise for 40 days and 40 nights. The animals enter the ark, Genesis 7 15, 16 description. Two by two, the animals enter the ark, as commanded by God. The waters cover the earth, Genesis 7 20 description. The waters cover the entire earth, as God had promised. The waters recede, Genesis 8 3, 5 description. 
After 150 days, the waters recede, and the ark comes to rest on the mountains of Ararat. Noah sends out a dove. Genesis 8 6 12 Description Noah sends out a dove to search for land, but it returns with an olive branch, indicating that the waters still cover the earth. The rainbow is given. Genesis 9 13 17 Description God gives Noah a sign of his promise to never again flood the earth. The rainbow. God's covenant with Noah. Genesis 9 8 17 Description God makes a covenant with Noah, promising never to destroy the earth and all living beings with a flood again. What animals did God instruct Noah to bring on the ark? God instructed Noah to bring two of each kind of animal on the ark. This included land animals, birds, and aquatic creatures. God also instructed Noah to bring seven pairs of clean animals and seven pairs of unclean animals. These animals were to be brought in order to preserve the different species on the ark and ensure the survival of the animal kingdom, who was in Noah's family on the ark. The Bible tells us that Noah's family included his wife, his three sons, and their wives. In total, there were eight people on the ark. Noah, Noah was a righteous man chosen by God to build the ark and save the animals and his family from the great flood. He was the son of Lamech and the father of Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Shem, Shem was the eldest of the three sons of Noah and the ancestor of the Semitic peoples. He was chosen to be saved on the ark with his brothers and his father. Ham, Ham was the second son of Noah and the ancestor of the Hamites. He and his brothers were also chosen to be saved on the ark with Noah. Japheth. Japheth was the youngest of the three sons of Noah and the ancestor of the Japhetic peoples. He was also chosen to be saved on the ark with his brothers and his father. 